With the secondary, obviously the nickel position with Cater out this week, how much of a challenge is that for some of the young guys that have to step up? Just opportunities. This is an opportunity. Cam going to get to spin for finally. Happy happy for that. Happy for that moment for him. Um, I can't wait for y'all to see what he about because he a, he a baller. I ain't going to lie to you. He do some special things just like in practice. Um, so that will be cool. How much of that is just confidence for a young player when they don't play? He good. He, he good. He got, he, he got what he need. He good. What's your FSU prediction against Miami? The nose win. I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't care how it's gonna look, but the nose got to get this one. I know it's been a little rough, uh, a little rough, a little rocky this season. We ain't worried about that though. We worried about tomorrow night, gonna, seven o'clock. You gonna be there? We gotta focus on my game. I wish, but I gotta focus on my game. But uh, when is going out? You putting this out today? Sure. Hey, um, my daughters, they got their chilling outfits. If I, if I can get them to the game though, I'm gonna be in meetings, but. If I can get them to the games or they can get some pictures with Chili, then somebody at FSU hit me up. I ain't want to hit Norvell about this because he got other stuff to focus on. But my daughters, they want to uh, meet the the, uh, the cheerleaders. So I need y'all to, uh, somebody to come through for me. Get that out. Excitement level for two. Uno, yeah. Uno, whatever y'all call him these yeah. days to be back. Oh no, uh, excited for sure. He, look, he looks great, man. He's locked in, um, helping get everybody where they need to be. Locked in on the details, all the, all the small things. You know, we're focusing on those nuances for sure. That's that's been uh, helping us helping us lose games. So we're trying to clean that clean all that up. Not like it was lacking before, but is there extra boost of energy now that you know QB one is back in the fold? He brings his own energy. Like he has a he has an energy about him that that is contagious. That um, you have no no choice but to to gravitate towards. And it is it's very much um, revigorating. And, and revitalizing for for offense that's that's been struggling. This Mike good. told us the unfortunate news about Zach Steeler today. It's such a, a game where you can get hurt in so many different ways. How big a risk is it in practice to run to have an eye poke to, with line play? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a surreal thing, man. And incidental for sure. Um, nobody's trying to trying to go for an eye, but you playing fast and playing low, big guys moving around. It's just, it's, it's unfortunate for sure. Zach, one of the best players on the team, one of the best players in the league. So uh, him dealing with that is definitely unfortunate for us. Where are you on this? These two are the same. You know, Tyreek said he is. <laughs> Not really. Where, where are you on this? Yeah, no, that's, that's unrealistic uh, for one player to be a, a savior. You know, you probably in basketball only five people on the field, but the you know, offense, defense, special team, there's 33 starters. You know what I mean? So he's a huge part of everything that we do. Uh, huge impact, but. For him to be the, the 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 savior, the hero, to try to save everything is, is unrealistic, unfair. Uh, we we got a lot of work to do. Everybody else, we got to be able to produce and 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 create lanes for the runners. Runners got to go execute. Receivers got to go. Everybody, you know what I mean. So Tua can't throw it to himself, or he can't hand it off to himself. Can't block for himself. Started this week working with uh, Chop Robinson mm -hmm. uh, after the practice and then in the locker room. How much does that help him in terms of the the, the technique that he's going to face against offensive line when we get Cali? Yeah, um, we really we just talking ball, talking experience, what what challenges I see, what what he's what he's seeing from from old linemen. Uh, it could help a little, could help a lot, maybe not at all, but it don't hurt. It don't hurt at all. So I love Chop. Love love everything about him. His approach, his his professionalism, his hunger. Uh, he, his production will come, for sure. He's, he's a special talent. It's hard in the league when we are so fixated on the honest stats, and it's a production-based league, for sure. But this is a, it's, a, it's a marathon, man. It's not a sprint. So some people come out the gate in high production and then fall off or, or you know. But as long as he, he trusts his process, keep going about everything the right way, working hard, all that good stuff, the production will come.